All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the street. Yes, we, we rock at this game. Rock. <laughs> uh, let me check audio, make sure everything's coming through. Decided to start a little earlier. Uh, been here a while at the office. Just want to make sure, you know, everything was working. St I did stuff. I'll explain it. All right, let's see. Let's see how this looks, all right? Hey, Torts, how you doing? So... Um, hang on a sec. I want, I'm, I'm checking some stuff here. <laughs> uh, camera's good. Well, I hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh, let's try out something here. I got, we found the other stream light. So <sighs> the two that I use I've been using for the last two years, but I was closer to the green screen than I am now. So I have a sheet versus a wall. Shouldn't matter. Different color green, you can still tune it out, but wanna try something here. So bear with me for a sec. So it's, it's brighter and it, uh oh, uh but I get a hot spot right here. So I want to avoid the hot spot. So let's see if I can get rid of the hot spots here. Um, so according to this, let's try, see if we go down to 10% and then see if we can go down to 10%. Still a hot spot. So, um, oh, okay, that's bad. Hang on. Let's try 5%. That's not so bad. Hang on, let's make sure it's really 5% though. Ah, see that didn't adjust. Just stop using varnish on the top. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> and that didn't adjust. All right, let's. All right, hang on, I'm still trying. So let's go down to 3%. That looks better. And then 3% also. Now, if we just turn them off, see, I think, whoa. Okay, I did something wrong, hang on. Oh dear, hang on. Wait. Uh, That one's, that one's on. That one's on. All right, so they're both on. Okay. All right, we're gonna go with that for a while. The uh, the hot spot is only bad if I lean forward. So maybe I won't lean forward. I don't know. Um, or if I just go without, because what's gonna happen is uh, today or tomorrow I'm gonna do a little cable management underneath the desk, and then the subwoofer will be able to move closer, and then the new ring or the ring light will be able to move closer. So I might get more even light versus those, which you guys can't see I'm pointing to. So we're gonna leave it as it is. <sighs> oh, right, so we're playing a game, sorry. <laughs> oh. All right, so we are on, that is not the correct title. We are not playing Stationeers. Oh dear, hang on. I totally messed this up. Hang on, I do apologize. Uh, wow, I was totally unprepared for today. Hang on, I totally, 
I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I did just tweet something. Yeah, I'm I'm all I'm all over the place here. Not I, I I tell you what, I'm I'm very preoccupied, and I do apologize. Let me get this on board here. This should be part 14. Not stationers, but Factorio. All right, my my apologies, my apologies. Totally different. Yes. Uh, let's do a save. 14. At least I tweeted it correctly. Well, not really. The picture says 14, but it says part 13. So a lot of cutting and pasting and not paying attention to stuff. All right. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I could handle all the changes coming to stationers because I don't know that much about physics. No, I don't. All right, so let's um, see how our pollution's doing. Pollution's fine. No bad guys in sight, really. All right, cool. Um, so what I want to do is let's increase this to like 2,500. Say 125. Oops, looks like I'm not in the network. Now I am. All right, so what we did last time is we hooked up additional... Oh, we got a problem here. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's run over there. See if I can get restocked and run over there and try to fix this. Let's get some rails. So, is what I did is um, this has all of this, most of this. The science is going to have its own. And right now I'm just starting with the basics of iron and copper. So we've got the, the unloading locations dialed in and the pickup locations. So we added, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we added a copper and we're going to add another iron. But I've been here since about 4 a.m. Um, I wanted to get the uh, the network mesh set up. Didn't run into any problems, but for some reason it's not as strong as I want it to be further away. So it is what it is. Had some breakfast. Add a banana too. So is there anything else I need? Oh, got those, got rails. Got power poles. We're going to go work on the power today, too. So you can see the solar is uh, I'm, I'm going over some some minerals here just because I want to take up this whole spot for solar. All right, are we good? No. Now, what I do appreciate about the logistics network, I like how it pulls from passive versus active. So it empties out what I call the trash bins. All right, we're good. All right, let's go over. And we have a traffic jam for some reason. I don't know if I caused it or, or what. Let's see if we can unjam it. All right. So it looks like, well, that's kind of a tight situation there. So let's put this guy on manual. 
Back him up. And we want that guy to go through. So let's do this. This one on manual. Back him up. And then put this one back on automatic. All right. So we have a possible choke point here. Um, I don't know how to fix it unless I move this up here. Seems like a lot of wasted real estate. All right. All right, let's see what happens here. That's good. Good, good, good. All right. All right, so let's um, let's take a look at some numbers here. Actually, no, no. I want to connect what we're doing here. We have copper here, iron here. Um, so if we do this with the iron, bring it straight across, that's going to miss. I can't really get any closer. So we're going to have to uh, come across. Okay, so what I should do here is pretty much draw what I want to do. We'll put a, we'll put a, um, a belt balancer closer to the source. So if we go under here and then up and then connect. All right, so let's go a little bit more, I guess. That was a very fast train. So this week, short week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is a stream. So today, tomorrow, and the next day, streaming. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, moving. 
So no stream on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm excited and I'm going to be sore. Kangaruba, how you doing? Oops, that didn't connect. There we go. We have heavy stuff that's got to come from an upstairs. Not looking forward to that. Hmm. All right, so I am going to do something not very smart. We're going to grab all of those. We're going to turn this off. We're going to grab. Oh, wrong ones. Um, I'm going to grab all of those. Oh, okay. I got to run. I'm good, waiting on my car oil change. Hanging out, there you go. Uh, so I'm gonna enable some new smelting here. And we're going to uh, speed it all up. Which is gonna be a lot of power drain. Let's see if we can actually see it live. Wow, look at that. It went up. From like, I think it was running 380 to about 430. It looked like it peaked. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, cool. Oh, actually, no, let's cancel. Oh, geez. Let's turn that off. Let's um, put some of this away. There we go. All right. So let's get this one dialed in. Oh, excuse me. I'm breakfast. That was gross. All right. Now we actually don't need this anymore. Do need that, okay. All right, so for the copper, we should probably just follow suit here. So if we go space and then space. No? All right. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. I make that, I make those often.
getting restocked here i also needed uh eight those let's turn those off See here. Will this be able to go all the way across? Yeah, in a roundabout way, I guess. Not very cleanly. Wait a minute. What's going on here? That works. And that does not work. We got stuff in the way. Let's see here. That's too far. Well, I guess we can just move this. Crisis averted, I guess. I did not bring enough. Sp oh, I guess I did. All right, never mind. Uh,
Can you make three lines at a time? Yeah, I can do more. Wait. Sometimes when I, um, sometimes when I try to do things in, in mass, I make more mistakes and then I have to go back and fix them. So sometimes doing it old methodical way, sometimes it, it's tedious, but it pays off. Especially when I'm trying to do corners. Yeah, just straight lines, right. I could simply just do this. Oh, and uh, because I did that and I didn't have my guys on, my guys, so if I do that, okay. I know, I know, I know, that's what I'm saying. here I, I made a mistake oh i could have just flipped that though i actually didn't know you could do that for the longest time when i used to have a mod installed that would do the auto undergrounds then when they added to the vanilla game i didn't know that you could just hit r to flip the direction oh, i got itchy eyeball Okay, so now the copper. Wait, and uh, for right now, so this is military, it still needs uh, that stuff. So we're going to just gonna hang out and get restocked here which I think Oop. there we go oh yeah we're so we're out of under we're out of the big belts is bringing over after work she's bringing over a couple boxes she she packed up her office everything on her desk and behind the desk and a bunch of boxes she'll be bringing that over after work today we have uh alex jr's room to put back together when we when we swapped out the light fixture i didn't want to get uh, debris everywhere so we uh we took stuff out of the room we um put a drop cloth on the floor and then we tilted the bed up because it was in the way Hello, long time no see, Anna Fennel. What, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't recognize the name. Did you change your name, Anna? Anna Fran? I do apologize. Oh, okay. No, no, just a long time since I don't drop. Oh, I got you. I got you. Well, thank you for coming back. Appreciate that very much. So anyways, we got Alex Jr.'s room to put back together. And we, we got a piece of furniture we have to assemble and put back and put in. Uh, let's see if I can't talk her into, uh, we need to figure out where to put dishes and stuff in the kitchen. I'm, I'm looking in the kitchen right now. All right, um, looking good, looking good. Doo -doo. 
Um, so I think what I'll do is we're going to let uh, the undergrounds. Oh, 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 actually. Let's go check it out. So. Okay, here they are. And nice. Now, the one thing I don't know is if I've actually upgraded this entire. Oh, I haven't. No, I have not. All of a sudden, I've got a weird accent. I have not. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. We're, we're going to come back to that. So the next science. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Uh, it looks like it, the uh, construction crew did not complete its task here. Probably because I didn't tell them to. So let's, um, looks like we can just go right to here. And install some concrete. So I can run faster and run into stuff faster too. Right there. Then let's carry this up. I'm putting in a blanket order for a bunch of concrete. It's going to be really ugly. I'm not going to sit there and watch it, but, uh, if you're wondering why I put concrete down, you actually run faster on concrete. I don't Some of you may or may not know that. All right. So now if we look at the mini map, that's all the con concrete construction guys. <laughs> all right. Um, so we're not going to, oh, this is the military. This is what we need to hook up next. So I need to bring this stuff over here. So let's get the copper. Whoa. Okay. Stop it. There's the copper. Oh, excuse me. Coal, brick, and steel. Now, steel, to the best of my knowledge, is not used. This is all copper and iron. These make red, so this is greens, plastic, and copper. The blues use reds, greens, and sulfuric acid. So the only thing that uses steel is the construction of the robots. So what I'm gonna do is move this down that's going to be very ugly. I get that, but we're going to do that. So let's make this one steel right here. And then we all we have to do is just drag one up so that that, that won't be so bad. Okay, here's our steel right here. Oh, OK. So now the question is, can I bring steel? I can. OK, I just have to move some power poles. All right, let's do that right now. A bunch of stuff just went offline. Does that got power? That's got power. All right. And then there we go. All right. Let's um. So we can bring these pretty much. That's in the way though. I don't think we need this anymore.
Wow, it figured it out. That was really actually quite brilliant. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect this. Excellent. So the steel right here. Oh, quit dancing around. nothing is using coal up here and what I'm doing is I have a coal drop off that drags it all the way down so I don't want to do that anymore I think I'm going to drop off the coal here if it'll fit and then this is going to be um, solid fuel for the generator instead so And then we have the brick. Again, I don't think brick is used for anything up there, so it's not. Again, a little bit of a saving grace here. Uh, I've only got one line of solid brick. Okay. So let's... um do a little restructure on this let's make let's do this i have an idea so let's copy this um no, no let's deconstruct that then let's copy one two that all right so this will be coal and that'll be brick yeah I think why not I don't I really don't think hey, let's um I think I'm pretty sure I can probably fit an unload in here, but I'm thinking I don't want to. I think I want to put it down here. I think so. Yeah. Guys, I hate to do this. I got to take a bio break. All right. So I will be back in about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. All right. My sincere apologies.
Alrighty, I'm back. I, I sincerely apologize for that. Man, I tell you what, when you when you have a stomach that all of a sudden gets upset, wow. Oh, oh, I was just gonna ask about taco. Nice. Oh. I feel tired now. Probably sharing way too much information. Alright, let's um Get ready to get back to work here. We've got stuff I gotta do. Do, 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 do. do, do. You wanna make sure you guys um Wow! Way to go, Wraith Hunter. Nice, nice job. Alright, let's um let's get back to work here. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so the plan is that we're trying to bring over. We had, we had a traffic jam over here, so we got to keep an eye on it. So we're bringing over copper and iron just for this, but we need to bring coal. And currently, I don't like how coal is being serviced. So we're gonna we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it down here. So, um, right. Do I have? I do. All right. Pardon me. Come through. Uh, okay, fine. Pick up those. You. Then we're going to remove this. Is that? I thought that's where I wanted to put the steam generators, but I don't. So if we drop off coal, we send it right through here, and then we want to connect it. All right, so this is going to be the coal line right here. Uh, yikes. So there's the brick. What we're gonna have to do is figure out a better way. Ooh, you know what? If I copied this and then turned it sideways, it would still work. All right. All right, let's uh, turn this off. Let's do... did that because the other one's going to come from the other direction all right i don't need this actually let's see which one's going to be better that one all right it's going to do the inside one all right hmm. okay fine all right let's go down here and do an unloading this part of a construction zone oh it's it's okay it's a little bit all right that's fine um no let's uh, change this to coal uh, 
It's going to be coal. Coal for steam power. Okay, so let's click that. Copy. And then we're going to rename it. All right, let's run up and um, um, actually. Let's um, send this guy to refuel. Once he leaves for that, and uh, we don't really need this anymore. That. Oops, I needed that. You know what, let's let's do something kind of smart here. Let's see. So if we connect this there, get rid of all this. And disable that. Drawing power there. So this coal, the only thing it's being used for now is nothing? No, no, no. It's used for making um, explosives and, and stuff. Yeah, and feeding. All right, so that's what we need to um, address here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, where's the train? Oh, okay. Did he drop stuff off? Oh, he did. All right, nice. All right, let's have him uh, hang out here for a sec. Okay. Uh, the two, where's that? There it is.
So we can do a four, two. Totally did that the wrong way. Totally. Nope. I totally am doing that the right way, but I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, so I need to move this. So if I copy it, oh, we're full of ammo here too. Yikes! Oh, this is gonna be hard. All right, so first of all, let's um copy this um over here just so I have a copy of it. We're gonna do it like this. I'm doing a one, two, three, four, five. I should do a five to three instead of doing this. Um, so we're going to uh, cause all sorts of problems here. So let's um, pull that out. Hey, good morning, Saturn. How you doing? Uh, let's put a few more. Do I, can I make... Um, uh, we're going to need some help here. So I was told if I want the network to empty boxes, turn them into purple. All right. Oh, we're doing good, man. We're doing real good. Uh, this is the week. So uh, I stream today. Uh, I stream up to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Uh, Alex taking the day off from work. Or I'm going to take out day off from streaming. And we're doing the small things. Boxes of clothes and linen and towels and small appliances, I think. All right, so how am I gonna do this? So I need to do a um, 
Yeah, we're getting there. So Sunday, I believe, will be our first night spending the night night, I think. Let's dial this back to um, 1,000 so I can make room. All right, so I need to make purple. This can stay, but all this needs to go. Let's see if this works. If I put that there. Is it gonna work? I think so. All right, so now what I should do is actually, uh, that's fine. Hang on, I'm, I'm thinking here. Oh, that's not what I wanna do. So instead of them having to fly all the way, I'm gonna put a depository. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Make these all filtered towards that. Sweet. All right, there they go. All right, nice. Uh. So let's actually do this. We'll turn that back into that. Do that, do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get the network to do everything here. Um, so if I do some requester chests for that and say I want a thousand, Sweet. Let's bump that up to 2,000. I'm gonna to try to get all the explosive down here so they don't have to fly back and forth. Editor, uh, editor, uh, editor, good morning. Sorry, I have not been drinking. FX editor, good morning to you as well. How has your sleep pattern been? Rain total so far for my area, seven inches range. Jesus. We got no rain in sight, but Friday, which is a moving day, it's supposed to be 98 degrees. What I'm trying to do is pull all the explosives out of the network here, and then I'm gonna dump it all here. So when I redo this uh, missile area, So these should be all filtered on explosives. This is, we've got all the explosives here now. So now if we do purple, okay, my, my bad, <laughs> my bad. Let's try that again. There we go, nice, all right. <laughs> Whoops.
24 hours, seven inches of rain. That's nuts. All right. So we're going to do the same thing because I want to empty all of this stuff and I don't want to do it myself. So there, 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 there. Please tell me you guys are going to charge and come over here, please. Keep an eye on you guys. I don't need you guys flying up this way. What are you guys doing? All right, whatever. I think it's working. Alright, so while that does that, let's go get Coltrane off of its standby mode. So it drops off here. It says for steam power, but we're going to change this name. Um, manual. No, no, no. Manual. Just blew it. Coal for factory is what I want to say. Now, does that coal for factory? Nice. All right, so you can go back on automatic. I said we don't need this here anymore. All right. Now I should do the same thing or the missiles so let's grab some of those and grab that let's say a lot of the what am i looking for here missile that. but we want to do a requester i think or Missiles. Oh, no, no. That'll pull from those. All right, so hang on. We got to fix that. Uh, no, no. Now we can do a request. All right, not that many in the network. Nice. That emptied very quickly. I'm impressed. It looks like we have a little hold up here. Let's add some more charging stations here.
right, still waiting for all the missiles to get here. Is that done? That is done. So that should be filtering on missiles. worked out pretty darn good so we're going to go ahead and pick up all the purples seems complicated but I tell you what this was a lot easier than me trying to do it all and then we do, um, we do that. Wait, all right, so we can do that. I need to move this whole rocket assembly. That's why I'm dumping all this stuff. And then, um, then I can bring, uh, the stone down. So right now, the only thing that's drawn the iron is the robot manufacturing. <laughs> that's why we moved that down. Oh, you know what? Um, what if we add? Nah, I don't want. Hopefully I got enough storage. Minneapolis is going to be a high of 111 today. That's crazy. I mean, that's Arizona stuff, you know? Nevada. Ugh. And here I am complaining about Friday. It's going to be 98 degrees, which is a moving day. So hopefully we get started early. Saturday, I think, is actually the day we moved the really heavy stuff, so. No one's built for those temperatures. I used to know uh, a, a buddy of mine that worked at Intel. He had a college chum, and I met him a couple times, and he did work 
in um I want to say Antarctica, but not not that far. He worked in in harsh weathers, mainly cold, and uh, doing um, uh, samples, soil samples, and whatnot. So core samples—that's what it is. Core samples. He started as a um, as a meteorologist. No, 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 meteorologist. No. Um, he worked for a county that did core samples to determine the snowpack and and all that kind of stuff in in uh, California, and then he got this other job. All right, this appears to be working. I got the, uh, we found the other stream light, by the way, so I'm still playing around with my lighting. Um, the one thing I know is I don't have a great, there's a little blurriness there, so it doesn't really show that much trail, uh, green trail, so it's it's not bad. And uh, the true test is the letters behind me are almost gold. They're supposed to be gold, but they're not, so. After we get moved in, I think today and or tomorrow, I'm going to try to do some cable management underneath my desk here so I can move my subwoofer under the desk. And then that way I can move the uh, the, the ring light closer and uh, we'll see how they go. It's got a diffuser around it and stuff. Right now, the other two lights I used to use, I, I put them up way high so they hit the green screen and not me. Wow, look at that. 3,274 logistics bots, and they're all at work. Well, that's good. You know what I want to do? I want to see if, um, if I copy these guys and I bring them down here. Uh, um, all right, maybe... Trying to get this construction done. That's a straight line. There we go. We'll get some additional construction done there. Hmm. Man, it looks like a beehive right there. All right, so the um, the stone is way over here, so I think we can just drag. Yeah, the stone, the, the, these two we can drag down. So, let's, uh, let's over that. That. Hmm. Because once that goes, see, we need to do, uh, So the the uh, what's interesting is uh, um, oh we've got Starfield coming up, which I will be streaming. I I I got the deluxe version, so I can start playing five days earlier. And uh, that happens to be also um, Alex took vacation that week, 
she didn't know Starfield was going to be released that day, so she's actually looking forward to her vacation so she can just sleep in, play Starfield, take naps, watch TV stuff. So my glasses are dirty. I'm fixing them. Tell you what, Baldur's Gate looks really intriguing, but I don't think I can handle two role-playing games, two really in-depth role-playing games. That's better. All right, this is taking longer than the, uh, than that. Okay. But it's working. All right, let's see what I can take apart here. Uh, so basically we're going to do, I just started Baldur's Gate 3 because wife wanted to play with me. Wait a minute. It's not, mul it's, it's not co-op, is it? Really? <clears throat> really? Sorry, I, all of a sudden I'm at high pitch. Oh my God. I didn't know that because... You say that? All right. Um. Well, I tell you what. Um, two people I know are playing it, and they say they're really enjoying it. Now, I've played Baldur's Gate one and two, and I did. I really enjoyed them. I played uh, Baldur's Gate one on my Commodore sixty four. Baldur's Gate two. It was either on my Amiga or on a PC. I can't remember. No, no, stop doing that. No built-in voice chat. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's how that's how Alex and I have been playing. Like Saturdays, the last two Saturdays, we've done stuff over here, and uh, I've packed the lunch, and, and and she would go and and then clean up after doing work over here, and we would play uh, Division Two, and we played some. Uh, she's she really loves watching me play Factorio, but she struggles with it. So we've been doing a multiplayer Factorio. And uh, I'm kind of making blueprints for stuff and then explaining it and then having her build everything from the blueprint. It works. But we play Division 2. Um, we play... Um, hang on. Hang on. One with all the guns. Uh... She's not over there. Um, the heck is that other game? Hang on. Hang on. Borderlands 3. That was my idea. She loves the division. I'm a, I use a grenade launcher and she uses the uh, sniper rifle. Oh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I did it. I wonder if that matters. Yeah, it matters. That was, once I was introduced to gaming with a personal computer, not that it was an IBM, and I could play a game like, you know, there was this really early 
role-playing game there wasn't much role-playing to it but you could fight stuff you could throw a couple fireballs or something like that i think it was called dungeon i i started getting really heavily involved in to because i played a lot of dungeons and dragons growing up me and my me and my fellow chums a lot of we we, we started off with dungeon dragons went to advanced dungeons and dragons had a lot of fun we did many lost weekends and um so playing it with a pen and paper or a pencil and paper and then playing baldur's gate or wizardry um yeah where are you getting power from um is there okay there's no one in there so let's get rid of that oh no i did it hang on So it's um this cleaned up. Oh, how come those didn't get filtered? Interesting. All right, whatever. so now if i go over here um we got this no no i don't want to all right so we don't have any requester chests in here that's good but we have passive and that's going to be for the rocket. So if I turn those into requester chests, we'll pull them out of where they need to go. So I think let's copy this. And it's going to go over here. up this stuff all right every single time i hear this track from the soundtrack factorio i want to watch day of the dead So the, okay, so they're doing the greens. All right, that's fine, that's fine, all right. When I came over um, to the office today, I um, um, at the at the old place, <laughs> the um, I, I disconnected the router, which is uh, uh, our router, and I put the the Spectrum provided router on, online. Had a small little hiccup. Alex worked it out for me. And the reason why I have two routers here is I'm trying to do a mesh network and I've got it working. What I don't understand 
is that from this room through a room to the next room, I get a, a very weak signal. Um, the entire home is brick exterior, but the walls are your standard walls of two by four and sheetrock. So, I mean, I'm going from one room through the dining room kitchen. So there's appliances and stuff into another room. I don't know. I don't know that much about Wi-Fi interference or anything like that. So what I did is I brought it into the kitchen area, put it on top of the refrigerator. It's got a great signal, but uh, I don't want to leave it in that room. All right. Let's wait for all this to settle down here. And what we have is um, a really hodgepodge way of me doing stuff. Butting it on the fridge probably cut the range. Well, I actually, the signal got great when I moved it in a room. Um, so I, I guess because and the refrigerator is a full size refrigerator too. Maybe what I could do well, modern Wi-Fi is good for several hundred feet. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Um, I would say that it's beyond a couple hundred feet. I really thought I'd be able to get a decent connection I'll have to I'll have to put out a, a measuring tape and see. All right. Oh, wait a minute. You guys are requesting for oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, that's fine. That's okay. Except for that's not okay. All right, so hang on a sec. Let's um let's stop the request of the explosives here. I'm not ready for that yet. Trying to trying to build this out and so what is uh, I can get my Wi-Fi through a brick wall and almost a thousand feet sometimes. All right, so I, I would imagine that. In direct line of sight, I have a refrigerator and an oven and a dishwasher in the way. I guess the only real solution is just live with the weak signal, which is two bars versus, you know, versus five bars and um, run the backbone connection to it. So, yeah. All right. So, but still that, that begs the question, what is the max range of... 2.14 gigahertz Wi-Fi. 150 feet indoors. I was not aware it was that short. Oh well. That's a lie. Okay, um, can 2.4 uses longer waves, which means it's best suited for longer ranges. All right, all right, so. Um, according to LifeWire, a wireless network's range can widely depend upon the type of the network. Gotcha. Factors influencing the range, blah, blah, blah. Wireless standard. This wireless standard you're using has a direct effect on the wireless signal range. 802.11g protocol has an indoor range of 125 feet. Uh, N has got a range of 235 feet. Okay, so let, let's figure out what I need to do. I need a five to three. 
But before I do that... Well, I don't know. Uh, that's a darn good question. I, I never really considered... Hang on, bear with me for a sec. Um, my Asus router isn't like the, the, um, the latest and greatest, but it, it's pretty darn... Oh, actually. Um, I have an RT8, I'm sorry, an Asus RTAC. That's not what I have. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I do. I have an RTAC68U. Which does offer AC. You're right. All right. I didn't know. All right. Let's get back to work here. So I need three inputs here. I need to go one, two, three, five to three. Let's get that squared away first. Five to three. All right. So. Made a mistake. So, if you guys grab them, you guys should put them up there, right? Sweet. Trying to, trying to stop the production so I can get things squared away here. Two eleven AC, which came out in 2013, has an indoor range according to something. Indoors 46 meters, outdoor 92 meters. So um, the 80211 AC should have the same range as it. 802.11 N. So that takes care of all the explosives. Um, with requester chests, what I should do is be doing that and then request those and we'll say 1500.
So about 150 feet. We're gonna get this worked out. I'm just making sure I get my Wi-Fi from the street on the way up to my place. There you go. Uh, so evidently I can do, let's try 4,500. Well, I don't wanna have a weak signal in one part of the house in a strong signal, so I'm, that's why I'm trying to do a mesh anyways. Hey, what's up, KB? Well, that, that's why I have, so in the room here, I have my main router and the other one is the mesh node and they're the same manufacturer, the same model number. So I didn't want to have any, you know, dilemma. Um, so let's try 5,500. I mean, the real way to fix it is to put the node back where I had it and uh after we move and get settled in is to um just take a, a line from the back of this one and do what, what do they call the backbone feeding for the mesh then i don't have to worry about it uh Right, we're just gonna go with 7500 that should be good all right so if i do a copy so actually if we do um Dude, get out of my way. I'm trying to... Oh, to me, guys. Got it. All right, hang on. That's going to take a while. Well, I mean, the, the, the home is 1,500 square feet, so I, I don't need that big of a mesh. So, but, you know, just straight line. <sighs> but I know the mesh works because devices that were connected to the router are connected to the mesh because it's it's closer. So I know it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just let that empty out all those buckets. Um, so now the stone. <laughs> Excuse me. 
The stone needs to go right here. This is the stone. Get me. Sorry. Um. Train's faster. As soon as all this catches up, I can get rid of um, or move this, get rid of this. So I need to move this somewhere. This is a backup to me. And um, let's just put this down here. Oh. So what I need to do is put that in there, that in there. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. Refactoring is never a pretty thing. All right, so hang on a sec. I'm gonna break all this and then fix it. Classical issue with too many bots over long distances, I see. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, I didn't have enough recharging locations, so that's why they're zipping down here. But I, I, all I did is I had something like this and I moved it like that so I can get more space here. All right, so now that we got the stone. Oh, I need stone brick, not stone, but something needs stone later on. think there it is i knew it <laughs> all right um is there any guys in there nope okay let's get rid of that anyone in there oh a lot of construction dudes all right so we'll take you guys and take you guys and we're gonna put you guys back yeah i need five ten i need What I wanted to do was this. Hey, Boo, good morning to you. How the heck are you doing, Boo? I'm doing a little refactoring, nothing super exciting. Uh-oh, where's that at? Oh dear. All right, so hang on. Are you guys disconnected? Why are you disconnect? That didn't make any sense. <laughs> oh dear, that, that snuck up on me. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm trying to get my rocket factory. Well, Saturday, uh, my weekend consisted of um, Alex and I swapped out a light fixture. The last light fixture we had to swap out before we moved in. Not that it was preventing us from moving in. I just, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to move in and then have to cover everything to do this because of insulation, all that kind of stuff. And we rigged up some, uh, some, uh, storage rack well kind of a, a lift so if we um the way the house was built the last add-on the way that they continued the roof the new roof covered up an older part of the house so we have in our attic we have a roof <laughs> uh part part of it over the breezeway part of it over the garage so we uh we, we figured out how much space we needed for storage bins and just put a, a big old long two by four so we have some storage and we don't have to worry about, then we can put bins underneath. So if we have to take that bin, the next bin won't slide. So yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh, very convenient. The, the only attic access there used to be is in the hallway, the uh, closet, you'd have to clear off the top shelf and then push a manhole and then you could go up but um as we were doing a remodel we added uh, a pull down ladder to the furthest to the la last room that was added so we we have complete access to the entire attic now which came in really handy when we were adding the new electrical for the new bathroom yeah yeah it's real nice so what i'm trying to do <clears throat> is move some stuff back and forth here I'm letting bots do the work instead of me doing it. I don't want to run back and forth. That's not fun. And I'm bringing in um, resources. So this should be... That should line up down there. Is there anyone in there? Uh, okay, you're going bye bye. Now, did that break anything? Oh, it did. Okay, hang on. We gotta get our network reacquired here. Get off.
Uh, do you have HVAC air handler in the attic? No, it's a, it's outside on a pad. Uh, and all the ducks are in the crawl space. So it's about three, maybe three and a half at the tallest peak. So yeah. Did that again. What happened here? How come you? All right. Do I not have fine? When you say air handler, you mean uh, a register or an AC unit? Our, our AC, our HVAC is a an outside unit. A blower? Oh no, I'm sorry. The 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 register the the register and all the AC vents are inside. Yes, the the HVAC is hooked up to the register, and the register has all the the vents coming off of it. Return. Sorry, return, not register. Return. Yeah, so the blower is inside. It's in the hallway. All right, so hit. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, um, I have to add new collection spots down here for steel, anyways. Um, let's see. I need one of these. And then one of those. And then we need some power. There we go. All right. Well, it's much more convenient, except for I was trying to crawl from the big crawl space to get rid of a pipe that we don't need, and the return was in the way. So both my parents and my in-laws have their air handler in the attic and is a complete gotcha. Now the um when I lived in Folsom, California, what I thought was really cool is the HVAC and all the ductwork was up in the attic, except for when I had to go up there and replace an attic fan, it was very cramped. And, um, but it was a cool system because it had a built-in condensation unit. So when it created water, it would send it to, um, the water heater. So it was pretty neat. All right, so we're good, right? Sweet. All right, what's going on over here? Are we done? Oh, all right. So what if we change this to say 8,000? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can say 8,500 probably. Oops. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, it, it was a, it was about six or seven feet long and about maybe, maybe two foot high. Yeah. Around here, they become about condensate entering the sewer. Oh, well, yeah, yeah I, I get it. I get it. So we can do two, four, six, two, four, six. I can say 9,000. I probably should have just done the math instead of guessing here. Gamers, uh, do you think that you're going to have to start over on Stationer soon? You know, they just added a new change for the atmospheric. I don't think it's a big change though, but uh, Ben and I chased our tails around trying to fix water that was getting into our O2, but I think we figured out why and then how to remedy it. I do have a single player that I started as a robot. So um, I don't know yet. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens after this next big change. All right, we're just gonna say 9,200. And if I do that, that, that. I wanna start in multiplayer stationers as robots terraforming various planets. 
Well, I, the, I tell you what, the, the robot I didn't think was going to be a huge challenge, except for the dude doesn't have a headlamp. <laughs> so you have to... You have to get a headlamp so you can see normally. He's got night vision, but man, that sucks the battery dry. I know, but looking through green is weird. Yes, I see now that airflow update dropped yesterday. It did, it did. But, so the pros and cons are you gotta worry about battery. All right, but the that's a con. The pro is you don't have to worry about food and water. Well, to eat anyway, so. Wow, did you guys see how long that save took? Thanks. I thought I set it to 9,500. Oh, I did not. Um, yoinks. Oh, power pole's in the way. Hang on, let me fix that. Hang on. You guys just hang on darn Sankin, would you? Oh, yay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ran into something. Yeah, they change food early on. It's not that it's not that hard. Um, I would stick with tomatoes. And um, there's a, a Harvey code out there. And since the tomatoes can reseed themselves, you can stock up pretty fast on on uh, on the stuff. On the tomatoes. All right. So now that we have all the missiles emptied out. Get rid of that. For that, for that. All right. Now we got to bring in the explosives. So, um, we do a requester chest. And uh, how many explosives can fit? Two point four. All right. Two point. I should have done that before. So I want to say. Uh oh, I'm not filling it up all the way. All right, let's do that. Quest, explosives, 2,400. Our problem is with a lot of games, I guess I like the feeling of playing games with people. So I watch stream. Oh, I got you. No, I get you too. I, I, I love co-op games. I really do. So uh, if I copy and no, that won't work. Copy, paste that bring over the, no, I didn't. So I have to, okay, hang on. Uh, paste, paste, I'm pacing. All right, sweet. So that should empty out all the explosives. You know, I, I've done that before. I've I've been playing Kerbal and I'll watch like Red or someone else plays Kerbal and I, I as, a, as I have their screen here and mine here, I try to rotate the camera on their screen. I can't do that. It's not possible.
All right, guys, I think I'm gonna take a little bio break here. You do that too? Yeah, and it's so annoying. So annoying that they won't let me rotate their camera view, you know? So let me get this game going up again. And uh, I'll be back in about 10 or 15. You guys have a good one. Here we go.
I'm back. Oh, you guys are rocking and rolling. Level six. Nice. All right. That. 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 Look there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, by the way, I've got the. Uh, um, Alex and I found the uh, ring light that I used to use for my stream. So, I've got better lighting. Still, still some work to do on it. So, how are we doing here? Why didn't it take all the explosives? All right. Um, hmm. Still quite a bit left. Um, you know, I, I have to say I was not excited for Star for Starfield until they did their their reveal. Then I got excited. Yes. You have the game pre-installed, ready to go? Nice. Wait, is, is that something we can do? I didn't know we could do that yet. Hang on. You just, you just, well, I'm not gonna do it if I can. It'll fill the stream. Um, is that on the console maybe? Hmm, all right. Yeah, we can't, um... Microsoft Store was, oh, I gotcha. After Star Citizen, I think I was, I think it's appropriate to be skeptical about space games. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get it. All right, so I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's do that, 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 that. Uh, did I run out of quit? Oh, I ran out of request. So how many? How many are filled here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Not quite. All right, so let's make a couple more, I guess. <laughs> And if we do the same thing, okay, what am I trying to do? Oh, that's explosive, right? So that, 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 that. Just trying to empty out the explosives. It looks like we don't need that for that. All right, yay. All right, cool. All right, so let's let uh, that all settle down and we have bricks. So that should start making military science, yay. Which we've got to move this somewhere um, let's see here. So copy this and let's pick it all up, dude. I think I'm going to put it way down here. Uh, uh oh, oh, that's a problem. I completely forgot about that. Uh, jeez. Okay, so, hang on. All right, so let's, um, crash all the science. Or actually, no, 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 so I already copied that, hang on. Let's paste this down, down, about here, I guess.
having some iced tea here. Dude, would you just catch up? Thank you. Oh, my nerves. trash I'm, i just need space final frontier so moving things around in a factory is not very exciting at all How could I be missing one? Oh, because I didn't pick up that one. There it is. Got it. So I don't know how valid this will be, but if I continue the track. And bring the power. There. Now, if I take red. That doesn't work quite like I thought it was going to be. All right, so let's do. That's what I thought. All right, so can I get all red? Okay, there we go. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. There. Then let's do the military. We have the blue. Then green. Purple, yellow. All right. Now, let's drag a couple sciences down here so we can see how this is going to work. Why such a long haul? Uh, queuing, I guess. Um. I think actually it would be better come down here. All right.
Well. Yeah, I I I can I can incorporate that. I'm just trying to do some uh like quick engineering for the for the move. But yes, with it all the way down there, we could definitely put a hmm. Well, that would be like I'd have to filter on the on the cars or have a separate train per but see, having this gives me kind of like a, a big cue for all the science. That way, if I do a big science uh, query, uh, all this being queued up. And the only thing I'm missing out on is some stone over here. So, yeah. All right. So now the military. I'm going to go the same route. All right, now, unfortunately, uh, military and the chemical have got to share. All right, let's um, see what's going on, going on over here. So everything successfully moved, so we don't need these anymore. So let's get rid of most of them. Um, what we'll do is we'll pick up all of these and we're going to put Dang. All right, wait a minute. There, that's better. Uh, now, we've got all those guys. And those guys. Those are mine. All right. Um, no, that's okay, Flip. Uh, it's it's gonna have to be something before I can put sheetrock. So I'm covering up a wall with sheetrock. So it's insulated, half of it's covered up. And um, I noticed that by uh, when I was measuring that the sheetrock would cover up from where the uh, hot water heater, the new hot water heater power is. So when they did the power for the heater, I'm sorry, for the dryer and the washing machine, they send that through the center of the garage up on the rafters. But the hot water, but the water heater, not hot water heater, the water heater goes across and then on the outside rafter. So I just wanna move it to the center and then that way I can do it. I, you know, if, if I think about it, if, the washing machine and the dryer are at the end of the garage and the hot water heater is the same place, but actually up forward. I'm thinking it's got a little bit more wire than the other two. So I should be able to move it and have a little bit of slack left over. So I'm gonna pull up all the staples and then pull the wire to the center and then, uh, but if I don't, that's why I asked you about the uh, the junction box extending a, a line. I, I watched a couple videos where guys were doing it, but no one said this was to code, but they also didn't say this wasn't to code. So I'm going, that looks, a, it looks sketchy, but you know, it was the same gauge wire. It was a metal box. And actually one guy used uh, the, 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 the old work box. All right, so we just have to now um, do this. Oh, geez. Oh, look what I... Oh, okay, I'm causing problems here.
There we go. That was close. Should be able to, but if not, junction box would be fine. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, look at that. All right. Those are mine. All right. So that got moved. We've got that going on. Now what's next in line? Okay, so this has got reds, sulfur. All right. So the sulfur is coming from here, but it's used for there and there. So what I could do is just drop it down and bring it back across. Yeah. I've seen people mount junction boxes to the heater. Mm. I have a situation up in the attic that where we added the pull down, there's two uh, Romexes, two um, 14 twos, white. Yeah, 14 twos that are not in the way, but they're, so say like this is the, the entrance to get up. They're, they're right here. And I know if, if ever an inspector comes up there, they're gonna say that has to be moved. So, and they don't have a, a whole lot of slack. So the only way I can think I can do it is, um, Kind of like cut the wire close to the receptacles. It's going to a light and and fan, and the other one's going to a, a switch. And just turn off the breakers, cut the wires there, and then, um, you know, if I add a junction, I don't have a way to it. So I have to add two junctions because there's no way I can run wire. I guess is what I could do is put a junction box close to the to the receptor, I'm sorry, to the fan, pull the wires, and then add a new section instead of having two junction, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. I just figured out my own problem, thanks. All right, so sulfur. Let's get the sulfur going here. Yep, sulfur, all right, so first of all, oh, okay, so reds, all the way up there, hmm. All right, let's clean up some stuff here, shall we? Oh, and, and the brick here can go. They're not really blocking it, but it, you know, my fear is that someone's coming down the stairs, they're holding on, they're carrying something and they they slip and they go to reach. They're, the first thing they're gonna do is grab those wires. But it's not like an immediate thing. It's just projects because when we, when we have to expand our storage in the attic, right when you go up, there's a, a pre-existing roof on the garage and that we're just gonna put a two by four and create another lip. But then we have a whole nice section until we get to the old outside wall um, where we can put some uh, plywood. However, there is, um, there's wires there, so I'm just gonna put two by fours on the rafters all the way across, and then that way the wires won't be trapped, and that way we can put plywood on top of the two by fours and still have storage. Well, better safe than sorry, you know? <gasps> oh, I'm doing the right one. I was doing batteries for a second. All right, so that's the old brick line. And this is the old stone. See, everything's starting to look really tidy and clean here, isn't it? I like it. Dudes, dudes, trying to clean up here. Oh, all right, never mind. Uh, 
thanks race i was actually uh looking forward to doing that myself appreciate it race how the heck are you doing we're um in the middle of doing a little bit of refactoring here <laughs> Doing all right. Got the notification. The forerunner is paid off. Oh, nice. That was my one of my very first cars I ever financed with the Toyota forerunner. I really like that. And then I traded in for an H2. Uh, guys, why are you? I'm 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 in a heavy traffic zone here. Eesh. Oh, I love that. It was the most comfortable drive I've ever had. I took it to uh, visit a friend of mine in Idaho and a um, little heavy on the gas, but that was before we had gallon, uh, you know, four bucks a gallon for gas. So it was the first car I've ever owned that had true leather seats. So whenever it was hot, I sat on that leather, didn't fry my thighs at all. All right. Sweet. Now we do this. There you go. There you go. Uh, well, I was just talking to Flip. Uh, I'm hoping that after we get moved in a couple of weeks, I'm going to go out in the garage and move the water heater wire so I can finish putting up the sheetrock on this wall. And once I get the sheetrock up, then I can get my cabinets in place for tools and the workbench and start recording uh, some DIY stuff uh, like my solar project. That's my main thing anyways. guys keep getting in my way i'm gonna scoop them up unfortunately i have a problem i seem to think my new hot wheels are full-size autos and i'm up to three race cars now oh no 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 oh, wait a minute i seem to have broke something here let me let me temporarily fix this there we go right. oh it's not even being used all right so we were worrying about sulfur reds sulfurs all right so that's right there I really want to know how solar goes because I would like to do something like, yes, yes. Okay, and then we have steel is right there. You know, it's interesting because I, I didn't even really consider solar until I started watching some RV channels because me and Alex were thinking about getting first a travel trailer. I said, well, that means we got to get a truck. So I don't want to have to finance a truck and finance a trailer. I don't want to buy one used that, you know, so I go, what about if we get a class C and that way we can drive it around and we could tow one of ours, you know, if we want to go to a, some sort of park and then drive in and get groceries or something like that. Um, and then we bought a house. <laughs> so I said, all right, well, and then 
as I was doing this RV stuff, I was buying components here and there for an RV solution, uh, solar. Um, so I, I had the inverter. I, I, uh, I, I bought the inverter, bought the batteries. I bought the solar charge controller and all some of the components in between. Um, the only thing I didn't buy was solar panels. And then when I decided we weren't gonna get the RV or trailer right off the bat, I said, okay, well, I can still get solar panels. So I, I found someone local selling used uh, full size instead of, you know, smaller ones. So I've got everything I need to get started. Just, I probably won't put them on the roof because I think we want to, after we get moved in, have the roof assessed before we put any more weight on it. I mean, the thing's been there since the fifties and there's been plenty of snow on it and stuff like that. I just want to make sure. All right, so how am I going to do this, this uh, sulfur here? Um, all right, let's 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 do some cleanup here. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, science. I don't know why they add things that I don't want approved. All right, let's get this all squared away. But yeah, science. Okay, let's get this cleaned up. Wait, it snows in North Carolina? It does. My first year here, this, it snowed and, and it stuck. We didn't have any snow this year though. That, that continues the plastic. Peter, so how'd you get the curly hair? How'd you get the uh, thinned out curly hair? Yeah, well, fortunately, I'm, I'm addressing it probably not the best way. And when I say that is, is instead of doing a 48 volt system, which most homeowners have, I'm doing a 12 volt system, which you can still do. You just don't get, you have to have thicker wires. That's all. For the most part. Uh, all right, how are we doing here? Everything good? All right, I don't need those. I don't need that. Don't need those. The last accumulation we had was late 90s. Wow, really? Wow, that's not a whole lot. I don't know why I'm going, wow. Don't need that. All right. So I'm still trying to hook up the sulfur which is right here. And is needed right here. All right, so let's see. Wink. Wink. And the reason why is because sulfur is coming in via train, but it's being used in two spots here. Hello, 911. Yes, this is Gamer Circle. I welded myself to my house with solar. Please help. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, wait, what? I did. Oh, no. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Race. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Uh, where's the sulfur's right there. So sulfur's not used anywhere else. So what I want to do, <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was awesome. Do I have any more sulfur down here? No. All right. So what I want to do, I think is copy this. No, no, no. I don't know why I did that. That was weird. Copy this. So one, two. Oh, okay, wait. One, one, two. All right, do that. That was 
Awesome. Um, and then we're going to... Would you dudes stop flying in the path? I'm going to I'm going to scoop you up. There So, and the, the reason why is in California, sure, we had earthquakes, but I lived in Sacramento, so we didn't really see any, occasionally would get an aftershock because San Francisco was two hours away. Anyway, so if we ever had a power outage, I think the maximum length of a power outage we had uh, before Enron or after Enron was I would say like maybe an hour. Moving to North Carolina, since I've been here for coming up on five years, I've experienced three power outages that have lasted, you know, six hours was the longest. So um, it was very nice that the last power we just had, um, once everyone got home, Alex's dad fired up the generator and we had power for air fryers, microwaves, the only thing we couldn't run was the water heater, the HVAC, and they're on uh, they're on well water, so the uh, water pump. Yeah, that, that's what I have. I mean, it's not a robust system. It's not a server rack system or anything like that. I have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, so they're good for like 20 years. So I, I think I'm gonna wire them to where I get 200 amp hours so I'll, I'll extend that and then the panels are going to be wired in series that way if there's shade on one it doesn't interrupt but i'm just gonna that's going to be just hold us over power um and then you know if if, it go, if it's going to go longer then we'll have a generator i think all right so that all seems to oh we got to get red no uh oh that's the red circuits all right so red circuits I think we're just gonna oh okay hang on well that's unfortunate um right okay so we're gonna have to do something very jinky here I remember seeing a deep cycle marine battery power set up. The, uh, the lithium, uh, like I said, they're, they're good for... Hey, Baron, thanks for the raid, appreciate it. Um, they're good for 15, 20 years. And, and you can, on lithium, you can drain them all the way down to zero without damaging them. The, those, those uh, you know, uh, acid and even the uh, marine batteries, you. You've got to be careful. You can't take them down below 50%. It'll damage them. How you doing, Baron? 
Thank you so much for that raid. Appreciate it. Bring it over your, your peeps. All right, so then we're going to take this output over here. That gets us the chemical science. Yay. There you go. Smart choice. Ah, look at what we have here. Okay, so let's um, copy all this. Been better trouble cooling on Mars with the new update. Need super cold air for the gas generator. And to be on honest, I'm struggling. You know, Ben and I ran into a huge problem with uh, getting water in our O2, which we did not have a problem with the last playthrough. And we played with the phase changes. So how's the new atmospheric change? I noticed I had an update when I got here this morning. All right, I guess I'll... I noticed it. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> busy. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So I need this to be done. I'm going to help. There we go. So here's copper. Um, crud. Okay, here's that. Uh, yeah, the the atmospheric change was. Um, uh, it's got a lot of details. I didn't read it. Read it all. Oh, jeez. Steel. We got batteries. Ah. Okay. Plastic. All right. So the plastic is right there. So. Oops. Oh. That, that's all going the right direction, the correct direction. So why can't I do... Why was that so darn hard for me?
We actually created a sauna by by uh, accident. The uh, the cooling, the passive cooling, bursted and put ice cubes into our greenhouse, and um, it was freezing, so all the plants died. So in heating it up, it melted the ice, and we had steam. That was yummy. I seem to have totally skipped this one. All right, I went right to that one. I don't know why. All right, what do we got here? We have stone. All right, so stone is right here. There it is. There's stone. We have stone brick. Uh. No, 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 that's not stone brick. Oops, my bad. Yeah, I made myself a sauna. And then, you know, to get the water out of the air, you have to use a series of evaporators and expansion chambers to evaporate the water or something. It's the new mechanisms are, are they're going to melt my brain. Don't need that. I need that. All right, let's try this again. So this is uh, oops, right there. That wasn't hard. Now we have the stone. Then we have the steel. Then the greens and the reds. But Ben was able to uh, figure it all out as soon as we figured out what valves we needed and stuff like that. So be cool. Don't need those. We got more power we need to get going there too. By the way, how is power holding up? Look at that. Speaking of solar, we generate 1.6 gigawatts of solar. We're only using 400 and whatever. But we haven't got science turned on yet. We're about to do that though. We done? All right, we're done. All right, then we need red. I think I saw that. There we go. Uh, there we go. Nice. I think we're going to have to upgrade the blue uh, science, blue circuit thing. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's shut this down for right now. And concentrate on actually making our science purple um and this needs blue so how is i doing blue oh it's right there all right all right let's see what's next uh greens
and then batteries which is right there huh okay so this coal is no longer needed right is this one dis Connected. Uh oh. All right, hang on. This coal should not be connected, but it is. And I think we're just going to let it use it up, right? Yeah, okay. So it's been using it. We'll just let it use up because we have our new coal source is right here. That all we have to do is drag up and connect. All right. Um,. <sighs> um okay probably can get this all cleaned up this was our old steel it's our new steel um so this isn't being used down here though Hey, Tramp, what's up? Trample. Sorry, not Tramp. That that was rude. I do apologize. <laughs> uh, reconnects that. I'm uh, trying to decentralize and recentralize some resources. Um, I decided to make a separate copper and iron for the actual science versus trying to split it between everything and running out. So the green and the red production circuit production has its own uh, iron and um, what do you call it? Copper. The steel is only used by the robot manufacturing, so I brought my steel down too, so all this steel up here is gonna go away. And I'm trying to just clean up. This is an old coal. It's still being used, but not down here. Yeah, it's used right there, at one spot. So all these undergrounds aren't really needed anymore. All right, so we got that online, got that online, got that online, got that one online, and this one's missing batteries. So I was trying to figure out how the batteries, which are right here, the batteries are made here, uh, and it's split in two up there. So I'm thinking I actually want to expand this a little bit. So if we come out of here and we are splitting it, let's continue to split it. Oh, wrong way. Whoops.
Um, I'm thinking I'm going to just drag it straight across. Ran into a rock. Oops. I did the wrong side. Oh, geez. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, is that? Yeah, no. Okay, so that. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. All right, that's been cleaned up. Um, okay, let's uh, see what we can do here. did something wrong here okay hang on wait 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 so we want to do splitter and then if we do another splitter after that does that it doesn't do anything all right that's because i need to do that there we go That'll eventually saturate. All right, then the batteries that we have up here, we're gonna get rid of that. And, um, oh, this is gonna be kind of ugly. Uh, so that's the battery line there. Okay, that's not bad. So, there, there, there. That's batteries, right? Hmm? All right, we're gonna do this instead. The, the underground's in the way. Wait, all right. So that'll get, oh, we need the blues. All right, so where was the blues at? Right there, all right. Um, Oh, no, no, no. Spazzy plastic. Oh, that's the old battery line, right? We 
killed the battery belt there. Uh, well. Oh, you're right. I did. You're right. The heck. Good eye, finger. I was worried that I did that. Oh, well. Are oh, you talking about this one? Appreciate that very much. Well, I tell you what, it, it's looking cleaner. And as soon as we start doing some uh, research here, we're gonna see how well it holds up. Should hold up a little bit better, I think. All right, don't need that. Uh, we're, okay. All right, so battery's going. Oh wait, that's the blue, which is right here. There it goes. All right, so that didn't take too long. Um, it, it'll take a little bit of time for the batteries to get all uh, resaturated here. Yep. For the most part, that should be fine. Um, the steel was struggling, but I'm wondering if that's, yeah, okay, that's struggling. So let's go fix steel. So first of all, steel needs to be upgraded belt-wise, it looks like. This is all fast belts, right? Yep. So why is this one struggling? Oh, oh, interesting. All right. Evidently, I missed some upgrades here. Uh, there we go. No, I need that. My bad. I just redid that too. All right, so the problem is I don't have any balancing going on here. No belt balancing. So that's what is missing here. Um, I'm gonna put it just right up here. One of the iron lines was cut at the bus. Was it iron or steel? Hey, Jace, what's up? I got itchy eyeball. Yeah, this is kind of a kludgy thing here.
Oh, I see what you're saying. That's a plastic got cut. I'm waiting for the steel to just uh, run itself dry there. Oh, we need to get sulfuric acid over here. Um, or lubricant? No, lubricant, okay. I moved it over just one. Ugh. That causes a problem later on, we'll just fix it. All right, so it it's doing its thing. Cool. Let's go over here and see how purple is uh, holding up nicely so we can put this back to that and that all right so now let's see here do, 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 do. Rock. All right, there we go. So I've got a duplicate this built just in case. I think actually a duplicate of the chemical science will have to be first. So anyways, that cleaned it up quite a bit because this was a big old jumbled mess. Don't like jumbled messes. All right, guys, let me do a bio break. We're gonna come back and fire off some uh, research and see uh, how this plays through. I'll be back about 10 or 15.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about the uh, BRB there. Let's get back to some factorioing here. <clears throat> um, I think we can turn this back on. In a little bit. All right, so let's see here. Everything seems to be flowing okie dokie. Um, the true test is the moment I start doing some research. Um, all right, let's wait for, uh, those two sciences to catch up. So let's go get our power grid back online. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Um, I wonder if steel is going to suffer. We'll have to wait and find out. But it looks like what I should do, looks like I'm missing some upgrades over here on my copper. What am I missing? I am. All right, fine. I am missing um, one, one, one productivity module. All right, get that going. <clears throat> Turn that off. <clears throat> Give me. So we've got our green, our reds all pimped out and, you know, uh, 
beacon speed productivity and whatnot uh this goes there is there any more no it looks like they're all over here so let's do that side oh that's got mod beacons in it but no modules uh, i guess i somehow put all this I why i did that all right yeah so it's weird how come these two irons are not keeping up why is there speed modules in all of these or uh, uh uh beacons that's not cool I don't remember doing that. Somehow they must have gotten into the system. And yeah, that's probably what happened. All right, let's go. Um, let's go upgrade power. That'll be fun. All right, so I don't need that many. So let's just reduce this to say 250 for now. We'll get some room. Um, everything else is okay. Um, let's go ahead and say... Um, zero this out. Oh, let's go uh, put that back. Yeah, we don't need plastic. Um, I'm gonna put, do I have a box up? Oh, I don't have a crate anymore. No, oh, it used to be up here. That's why. Do I still have it up here? Nope. Let's grab that. Let's put, um, oops, I got some science in there. Put those in there. Put those in there. Uh, might as well get all those, empty them out. All right, so put science in there and keep those. Here those. All right, let's reduce some of this stuff. Let's go uh, down to zero. Down to zero. Zero. And zero. Okay, don't need those. 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 All right, so let's get these guys here. And it looks like, oops, wrong one. Looks like we need panels and accumulators. So there's the panels. And there's some accumulators. All right, let's go uh, do some power upgrades here. Or, uh, Power expansion. All right, no traffic jam, that's nice. How's our uh, pollution doing? Still very contained. Nice. All right, so let's see. What do you got? Nothing. First, where's all the panels at? 
Oh, jeez. There we go. All right. Go to work. Ran into a tree. All right, here we go. Time for some work. Oh, and turn those on. Go. I'm stuck. That was weird. This is where my batteries get drained from doing all this uh, placement. How come no one wants to uh, come over there? Oh, there you go. Finally. Thank you. Jeez. They're in for the long haul. Any accumulators? Oh, jeez. Hang on. There we go. I do know I can put uh, robo ports and, and uh, workers in uh, my uh, spider trons. Tell you what, though, sometimes they don't seem to have the the scope that I do, and and I end up taking their stuff out and doing it myself, anyways. Batteries down 56%. And uh, I've got modded batteries too. I've got 
two of these Mark III batteries, or three of them. Itchy eyeball. There you go. Mm. Alright, so no power. A little bit of electricity. But now they should be charging here. Let's see. Um solar's picking up. We need to generate at least looks like about five hundred and fifty megawatts. Looks like we're Drawing a little from the generator, less and less from the batteries. Now, none from the batteries, pretty much. Yeah. Now we're charging. So, red blinkies are gone. Yay. I don't think I have any more panels. Got accumulators. Nope, no more panels. Ah! Spiders! Yes, spider trines and spiders. Scary. Yep, panels are almost all gone. spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out that's a bummer poor itsy bitsy spider we're out of uh what is your favorite waffle oh my favorite waffle let me tell you i got a solution for that it's right there Waffles. that was my waffle i made a couple days ago it was a yummy waffle <laughs> Thank you, this guy. Appreciate your follow. Huh. Interesting. Bunch of trees in the way.
Well, we don't have solar panels or the, I keep forgetting what they're called, the substations, but we can get the accumulators to uh, out here anyways. But it looks like all we have to do to finish this is just solar panels and, uh, yeah, sweet. All right, let's um, turn that off. Just in the nick of time, look at that, my battery is down to 23%. Let's put the accumulators back. Here we go. Um, all right, let's see if all the science is caught up. You know. um, looks like for the most part. So let's do a big research here. Um, um, let's research, that's, that's not that much. Ooh, that'd be a good one. Um, all right, 1500 and then we'll put 2000 on top of it. So let's see if the division of the coppers and the irons pays off. I'm thinking it is. Ugh, Timmy. So far, I don't see a problem. This is staying all nice and consistent. I don't understand. Oh, okay. So I think we're gonna have to pimp out the iron that's doing the, um, but first I think I wanna do this side though. See how this, this primarily makes all the, the circuits and it's this one down here. I think we're gonna to have to put modules and beacons on before we do that. All right, I got a dumb question. Am I doing any belt balancing on this stuff yet? Check it for a train, don't see a train. There is no belt balancing. Wow, I got lucky. All right, let's go back and fix that. We'll do it at the source. All right, let's do them both here.
All right, cool beans. Yeah, chemical science is uh, going to be a problem. All right. We're going to have to do uh, another chemical science and combine them like I'm doing with the red and green. But we'll do that tomorrow, guys. That's going to do it for today. Appreciate you guys hanging out today. Let's roll some credits here. Wow, credit music. Wow. Uh, this guy is my guy. Thank you so much for the follow. Baron, thanks for the raid. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a fun rest of your day.